made it to beautiful Old Bahama Bay in West End and uh, we got the crew. We got Rye Dog, what up? Tom Sweeney, Lenny. we got Lenny, Quentin, John Boy. Where's freaking Joe bags? Oh, in the bathroom. oh, Nick and Joey, but they're in the bathroom canoosing around. <laughs> and uh, Mr. Lendall's checking us in right now. We're about to go do some diving. I don't know. What are you thinking, Quentin? Thinking about the demolished bagel. Wow, I'm gonna lay up on a bagel. I think I'm about to shoot 40 pound black. Yeah. There's Joe Bags. Snicky black. What's up, guys? <laughs> any old Nick, any old Nick for oh, yeah. boys? So, we're gonna check in and then hop in the water, do a little bit of diving out front. Stay tuned. Do a little catch can cook for you guys. Welcome back to another diving spear fishing video in the Bahamas. If you guys have appreciated and liked these videos, go ahead real quick and drop a like on this video right now. There's a nice strawberry grouper I'm starting off the day with. But if you do enjoy these videos, like I said, please go ahead right now and drop a like on the video. Make sure you are subscribed. It really helps the channel. Let's dive right into this diving session. Nice strawberry grouper I did shoot there. And those are delicious tasting fish. You always gotta, you always gotta shoot those. They're not the smartest, I'll tell you that right now. One of the boys making a drop here, I think this is Lenny. Yes, it is. And he is going for a hogfish. He's shooting Hawaiian sling. And he missed, or no, he shot it and it came off and see the hogfish right there. And he missed on that shot because he had a low breath. We're diving like 30, 35 feet of water here. And this is three days worth of dive footage combined in a one long video. So that's why I said drop a like on this video. We got a lot of dive footage for you boys and girls. It was such an awesome time and I'm so glad that I can share the entire trip with you. We're diving straight out front here of West End. This is a nice mutton snapper that had come in right after Lenny shot that fish. And I made a super slow drop on this fish. This was a really nice mutton, probably like a four or five pounder. And I'm shooting with my Predator Roller, my Headhunter Predator Roller. And gives me a good shot right here. And we're gonna go ahead and slow that down right now. He absolutely slipped my pole spear. He turned just at, just at a weird angle and it just grazed him went right over his head. We slow it down, you can see it. And that was, that one hurt. That one really hurt again. Lenny making another drop here on a nice hogfish. Wanted to go down and film him. Boom, stone shot. That hogfish just was looking at him a little too silly. Not the biggest hogfish in the world, but a perfect eating size fish. You can't go wrong with hogfish. Now we're hopping in. Mr. Lindahl had told, told me and Lenny to hop in and do some conch diving. And I said, it's kind of funny, I was like, Lenny, do you, uh, do you ever shoot any fish while you're doing this or see any fish? He's like, nah, never. Well, that's not true. Here's Lenny going down on a bunch of conch. This place was loaded with conchs, big ones too. The first one I picked up was dead. You see how the other ones were all alive, had conch in them. There's all over the place. And I'm going up with four conch, and then here comes Ryan. Looking for some conch. He picked up that dead one that I had dropped. <laughs> yeah. They were ah! Good little. Ah! <laughs> Dude! Yeah! Mm-hmm. Oh, 
me and Ryan had saw a couple hogfish when we were looking for more conch. So they threw Ryan a pole spear and I wanted to try the Hawaiian sling. I've never shot one before. I actually, I actually shot one for the first time on this trip. They were so much fun, but you can see I have no idea what I'm doing this thing. I just saw a couple little hogfish. I thought it'd be cool to try and you're gonna see what happens next. Making a drop, Ryan told me he saw the hogfish sitting on this ledge. I get loaded up and I don't know if you can see it. Load my Hawaiian sling up and there's a black grouper. I can see his tail. I freak out. I have no idea what I'm doing with this sling. And I just take a stupid shot and I missed. I should have just reassessed, went back up and got a pole spear, but I didn't. And I shoot to the surface and immediately tell Ryan. Big ass block in there. Swear on my life, and I didn't have my. How far did you go in there? What? Huh? How far did you go in there? Not that far, his tail was sticking out. <laughs> I went. First shot with a sling at a giant block. And it was a big block sitting under the ledge. Hell no, I suck with this thing. Ryan's gonna shoot it. Ryan goes down and shoots this black grouper in the tail. He put a nice shot in it, that's the only shot I was giving him. And he goes to pull it out and his crimp breaks. As he's pulling it out and you see the black grouper come out of this hole, I go down with the sling. You can see the shot in his tail. Should have taken the shot. Should have taken it right here, should have just should have just shot him right there and I hesitated and he went back in the same hole he came out and this was funny too because there was absolutely no other place for this black group to go he could have swam off and been far gone but he went to the only ledge there was he went back in the ledge can I get a full smear for some reason my GoPro dies after this but we end up working this black group out of a hole and landing him Ryan ended up putting another shot in that black grouper. And then it just ripped out right there at the end when he was trying to pull it out. And he was getting pretty dang frustrated at this point. <laughs> I go to make a drop to see if I can work the scooper out for Ryan. Nope, nope, I'm wrong. I just go to make a drop to grab my shaft on my one thing. And this little hogfish comes right through the cut. Boom, got a nice shot in him. Again, you can see him leaking like crazy, but I just d didn't have enough power on the sling. This was my actually very first fish with the sling and he was struggling. That shot definitely did put him to sleep and a beautiful hogfish. First ever hogfish on Hawaiian or gorilla sling for me. I was pretty stoked about it. Those things are cool. I'm gonna have to get one. Have to do a video of just shooting one of those. Can you take this and give me a pulse from and help him out? You can see all the blood. I really could not see anything. I couldn't see the grouper. trying to work him out of this hole and it was just so, oh my god you can actually see the shark's head right there was that a shark what was that i don't know but ryan said i have a ryan said i had a giant shark on me you're gonna see in the next clip or two you can't see the shark but you can see him freak out and you can hear him grunt okay so right here this is where the shark comes on me i am trying to work this group out of this hole I have my hand in there, this grouper's grunting. We got sand kicking everywhere, blood in the water. And 
I am just wiggling this thing, trying to work him out of this hole. And I have his head at this point, but I just can't seem to get it out of the hole. And I, I start to hear Ryan grunting. And I turn around, he's right there. And he says, there was a giant shark on me. And it's laying on the ground. Oh yeah, that was mine before. Where was the bull shark? It's, it's wedged in there, we have to work it out. Oh, I don't have the freaking shark bands thing. Give me it real quick. What? I don't have the shark thing. The band, the shark band. He said there's a bull shark on my head. Bro, I wasn't even wearing mine. Are you serious? Ryan goes down and ends up putting a third shot in this black grouper. And sure enough, that was a shot that we needed. And once again, we were trying to work this thing out of there, but he just, it was such a weird angle, he would not budge whatsoever. I got him out finally and I couldn't do anything because there was a pole spear attached on the other side and I couldn't just pull him out all the way so I had to just go back up and he went back into the hole of course. Let's just cut, Ryan, Ryan, let's just cut one of the things. What? Let's just cut, he's out of the hole, you have to cut it. Yeah, no, I want to lift his head out of that one hole. His head's out, I just took him out. He's on the floor. You guys have like cutters or something to cut the wire? I think this will work. Is he saying to ask for another diver? Yeah, we need someone else in the water for sure. Ryan, I, I, I don't know if you saw, I brought him out of the hole. What? I didn't know what to do because I couldn't pull the pole spear through. I was literally holding him. Did he come off? No. Ooh. Finally, Ryan gets down there and works that grouper out of the hole. And he was not as big as I first thought, but black grouper secured and we finally got him. That was like a 25, 30 minute extraction on that little black. Hold him up. Phew! I might have exaggerated, but I, I was just surprised. I was surprised to see him. All right, so here's what just happened. Suspect series of events. Weird. We were conch diving, looking for some conch, just shallow water. And uh, I saw this hogfish and I never shot one of the sling, so I asked Lenny Hammond sling. I dove down and then you guys see, I saw that grouper under the ledge with the shot on I told Ryan went down, put a tail shot in it. And then we had to do a little bit of extraction there, but hold them up. We got him. We got him. You. Extraction. I'm getting some conch. You can't complain with that. Bigger, but still nice black see a couple little hogfish here but just saw a really nice strawberry grouper i knew that wasn't the one i originally saw and then here's the big one Went back down for the extraction on this little strawberry grouper. And he had like flared his gills or something and he was wedged in there, man. I really had to work him out. Just struggling so hard to get him out of there. Finally ended up getting him out in a beautiful sized strawberry grouper. There's really nothing better to eat in the Bahamas than a strawberry grouper. I was going down on a couple zero macro here and I could hear someone behind me. So I turned around and Ryan just went down and plucked a nice hogfish.
Hold a lot for the GoPro. I didn't even see, I was chasing a little Ciro scout. You know what I mean? Hey, Ryan Esk. Nice tiger group I was making a dive on, and, and then this, we were diving 60 here, and I just thought, you know what, I'm not gonna shoot this fish. There's no point. Tiger group are really known for having sick of tear, especially a bigger one like that, so there's just no point in me shooting them. Tiger. Yeah. What, more? what are we gonna do with it? This is funny, there's a couple little jacks. I don't even know what type of fish these were, but they were like hugging Lenny. And we were trying to catch them. Nice Nassau group I made a drop in, we were still diving 60. I don't know why I lagged right here, I should have just shot him. He was looking at me head on, so I wanted to have him go a little bit more broadside and I didn't get that opportunity. You can see him sticking his head right here and I was, I'm hunting with a nine, 10 foot pole spear. I could not turn my pole spear. So, trying to look for him again, didn't see him. Went down there for quite some time, so I decided to come up and let that Nassau swim another day. I don't know why I didn't take it. Yeah, what the? He was just looking at me. Were you lagging or something? No, I just. I don't know. This is our second day of diving. Ryan is making a drop on a huge yellowfin grouper. I know my GoPro is a little foggy right now. I'm sorry about that is the case. He goes deep in this cave and this is what good teamwork looks like. Ryan put a shot in that grouper right here. Second he shot that grouper, I saw it. Immediately went down. We were diving shallow so I didn't have to make sure he was okay. And we wanted to land this grouper as soon as possible because we had a lot of sharks around. Went ahead, pulled this grouper out of the rock that he was in. And put a second shot in him. And we surfaced him. And this was a big, big yellowfin grouper. Definitely the biggest I've ever seen. So huge shout out to Ryan for plucking that fish. Probably a 25 pound yellowfin. <laughs> My go for one? That was sick, dude. Love that. I was right there for yo, you. Yo! Yo! Right Wait, you thought that was the black? What? I thought it was just a different one. Really? Yeah. That's a big yellowfin. Hold him up to the GoPro, Ryan. Woo! That's a giant yellow fin. Holy smokes. We were super stoked to land this fish. This was the first nice fish of the day in the boat. And kind of upset I put a second shot in it for Ryan, because you're gonna see why in a second what happens when I get out of the water. Dude, that's the biggest one I've ever seen, for sure. Ryan, I saw Ryan go down loaded. He knew, already knew he was on a grouper. And so I literally just stayed above him. He went in that coral head, shot that fish. As soon as he shot it. We're shallow diving, trying to wait for him to come up. So I went right down, put a second shot in it. Giant yellow fence. Nice. That, that's definitely 20 pounds, dude. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's on him sideways. Ew. 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 Wait, go that way in the sun. There you go. That's sick. We're gonna snap a couple pictures and hop back in the water. He's got it. There you go, Nick. He's got it. 
What is it, another one? Yeah, yeah. That one. Nice. I know you. That's a good one, Nick. Got him? That's all. Let's get him under the water. There's a, there's a shark over there. Come on. Joey shot one too? Uh, oh, yeah. It's oh, a good one. one. Nice. There you go, Joer. Good one. Damn, that's a stud. Chase the Way to go, bud. Wow. Hold him up for a second, Joe, or the shark's in the water. Hold it up, Ryan. Yeah. Hold it up. Yeah, Whoa, boy. Yeah. yeah, boy. Wow. There's more. Wait, why are we getting out of water, Shark? No, we're gonna go pick hey, Ryan, those. That makes up for missing on that. Here, that's, uh, dude, Ryan just shot a 20-pound yellowfin. Really? I shot the one that we were talking about. Oh, that was yellowfin. Uh, dude, it's a giant. That's a that's a 10-pound hog. It's a big one. That was a series of events. Hold it up, Ryan. Joey on a giant. The old Joe Meister. Oh, Very Atlanta guy. That's we're gonna hop back in the water here in a second see if we can't shoot some. The boys are healing them. Lenny shot a big one. Dude, that's a nice paper. It's a giant. I take them out real quick. Alright, serious, serious event. I'm gonna pull the camera out. Alright, a serious series of events just happened. Ryan shot that grouper. Joey shot that giant hogfish. Lenny shot a big hogfish. Nick shot a big hogfish. Hold them up, boys. <laughs> Take a couple pictures and we'll hop back in the water. I went down here, just saw a couple little hogfish and didn't want to shoot any of them. They were too small. I didn't even try to shoot this thing. I just tried to poke at them. See if I could get them on the spear while I poked at them. Me and Ryan were laughing. Ryan went down and shot a little one on the Hawaiian sling once again. These weren't the biggest hogfish that we were shooting on the sling, but it was Ryan and I's first time, so it was still fun. And all these fish were legal. This is another little hogfish that I saw going down. I thought, might as well pluck him with the sling. Shot him right there in the face, and he came off. And that's the thing with the sling, a lot of times those fish will come off, but Ryan saw where he hold up, and we went down and put a second shot in him. By the way, I don't know if I mentioned so far, this is the next day we were diving off of Strangers. Boom. Kill shot on that. Another nice sized hogfish. Not big by any means, but he will, he will do. A little sus ball by me and Ryan there. Alright, season shoots a nice sized hogfish here. And then I had this one come right up to me. It was just a weird shot, and I shot right when he spooked. Which I should have just waited. And he came right back around, and my tip was falling off. These hogfish are not the brightest, so I had to just reassess my pole spear and fix everything. Went back down, plucked that hogfish. I think that one was a little small, I don't know why. Quit and shot that one, a little suspect, but it's alright. Went down and there are so many, so many hogfish here. Got this hogfish up. And it is a nice sized female hogfish. Ryan had shot the nice male. Ryan shot another giant schoolmaster. 
and we don't really eat these things because they tend to have sick of terror, but the Bahamians love them, so we like to feed the locals. This thing's so fat. Hold them up. Hold them up. Okay. <laughs> so fat. Lenny went down and plucked this nice hogfish on the sling once again, and I just want to get another angle. This was day three of our trip, and we were on the way home. I wanted to shoot, shoot a couple hogfish for dinner. Another nice mutton snapper that I shot there and I thought I had them. And if we play the clip in slow-mo, you can see that the tip just doesn't deploy through the other side. I don't know what happened, but I thought I had a good shot on them. The muttons just got the best of me this trip. It's usually how it goes. What is that about? Why is this happening to me? And I smoked them. Once again, Lenny's going down with the sling on another nice hog. Lines up on him and gets another nice shot. And there's so many hogfish down there. He points out another one that's worth shooting. Comes in right in at me. And these are not the smartest fish by any means. These things are pretty stupid. They just look at you like they want to die every single time. And we got a double. Lenny, once again, on a nice mutton snapper, and that was a long shot for sure. I thought that was pretty impressive. Didn't get a great shot on it, but that mutton was on the move. And I was down there just to help him out if he needed a hand. Whew. That was sick. Whew. Pretty sweet fish, and I kind of drop his mutton. I see a big zero macro right now. And I was just at a distance on the zero. Should have swam a little bit more. Thought I had the shot right here, and I just, I didn't. A nice hogfish laying in the sand here, and I asked Lenny for his Hawaiian sling. And I lined up a shot. This hogfish turned it perfectly broadside broad side on me. I don't know why I couldn't say that. And I had a nice shot on him, but I guess I just didn't pull back far enough and didn't have enough strength. Try to get another shot while I was down there. I was kind of out of breath at this point. And I kind of just had a half ass shot and barely nicked him in the tail. Ryan ended up going and finding my hogfish and putting a second shot in it for me and securing them because we'd hate to shoot a fish and then just have it swim away. But it does happen every now and again. I go to pick up the sling and you can see all the hogfish that are just around me. And then the diving was pretty much over for the day and all these porpoise came in and started aggregating on me. Literally just hanging out with me, doing flips around me and Ryan. And I was the only one in the water at the time, but Ryan jumped in. He was just one with the porpoise. I don't know what the deal was. I don't know what was going on. Ryan was one with the porpoise. But made a dive and these things were chilling. All right, boys and girls, we are slowly putzing back to Sandy. And while we're doing that, I'm cleaning some of the fish. Lenny and Tom are back there on some of the columns, dealing them. And Ryan's just nantucketing around. So Joey's gonna hold the camera real quick and we're gonna show you a little fillet. Knowledge. Knowledge. So this is a really nice strawberry grouper and it doesn't look like you'll get much off of it, but you do and 
They are delicious. If you haven't tried them, you got to. Playing my six inch Dexter blade. If you guys would like to go purchase a knife or anything off the of Dexter website, I'll have a link down below. DexterOutdoors.com. You can use code ADAM20 to save 20% off. I'll have a link down below. Let's get in a flame real quick. So, you know, we're not in the most ideal conditions to fillet, but if we have a Dexter, you can make it work. Very Joey ass. They got beautiful white meat. And it's super slippery and we're moving, so try and bear with me here on the flange. Cut the, the rib bones out right there, and then you got your pen bones right in the middle. Just like that, and then Quentin's got me on a little sprayage. You want to spray it off with salt water, definitely not fresh. Get her nice and wet. And that's it, we're ready to eat it. We'll see you guys back at the dock. I'd lick that. That's it. That's all we gotta say. That's all we got. That's all we got out here in the cut. But we're gonna go ahead and show you what Mama Luce just cooked up. I didn't film it, but she made an amazing dinner and we're about to go ahead and eat. Let me tell you real quick. What do we got, Mom? We have hot snapper and grouper. So what I did was I cooked this on the grill. First I made a breadcrumb with butter, white wine, garlic, cheese, black pepper, parsley, and oregano mixture. I put the fish on the grill with a couple of slabs of butter and Old Bay seasoning, cooked it for five minutes, then came and put my panko mix on top of the fish, grill that for another five minutes, then I popped it in the broiler for about five minutes to get it crispy, and then we had rice with avocado and zucchini with parmesan cheese. Looks amazing. We're about to go ahead and eat. Chance? I think that plate's for you. Can't even lie. That plate's for me. It is. Which one? That was a yellow from grouper there. I think I like the grouper better. You can't not like the grouper better. You can see the little bloodline. It looks like a piece where you got shot right there. Mm. But here's what it is. Is it good? It's really good. Really good. Johnson approves. That's all that matters, as long as Johnson likes it. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. We combined all three days of diving for this video. I want to make one giant video of spear fishing, and there it was. If you can, please go ahead and drop a like on this video. Put a lot of effort into this one, and Dan did a great job editing this video. If you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that right now. Also, if you would like to support our channel and buy some clothing, buy a shirt. I'll have a link down below, movingweightfishing.com. Check our website out. You can browse it. We got a whole bunch of different stuff. Johnson's not moving weight. Johnson's not repping right now, but you know. Bon Jovi. Thought you didn't want to be on camera. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. Till next time. Moving weights out.